Okay, welcome to the second part of our maze game tutorial. First of all, we're going to add an object which is going to be our player on this maze. We need to make sure that the maze itself is not selected. Um, currently in pink it is selected. Let's um, press A again to unselect everything. Okay, now we're going to add a little cone to the top of the maze. And we'll say OK. And we'll move it around so it's sitting nicely on top of our maze using the X, Y and Z axes. And there we have it. There's our little cone. Let's zoom in on that. Now when you're zooming, uh, the scroll wheel zooms forwards and backwards. If you hold the shift key down and scroll it goes up and down. If you hold the control key down it goes left and right. So you can zoom in using the combination of these keys so you can see your object fairly clearly. Nice. Let's switch to a top view of our object by pressing the number 7, where have I gone? No, that'll be okay. I'm going to extend the part of the cone that is pointing straight up in the y-axis. To do that, I'm going to enter edit mode and I'm going to select uh, a pointy bit. So I'm going to choose the vertex select mode which is control tab 1. Now I can select one of the vertexes that's one of the points and I can drag it out a bit. Look good? That's going to give our little creature a direction. Let's look at this thing from the side view. Our point that we pulled out to be the nose. Let's move it up a little bit to make it more like a nose. Maybe out just a bit more. Switch back to the top view. That's looking good. Nice. This little guy is going to be our actor that's going to move around the screen. But to make it move we need to give it some actions. So we're going to go down to this little button on the button panel which has got a little Pac-Man. That's our game action tab. First of all we're going to make this creature dynamic. So change that. And now we're going to add three things to make it move forward. We're going to add a sensor, we're going to add a controller, and we're going to add an actuator. Let's make it move forward when we press the up mouse button. So we're going to have to make this sensor a keyboard sensor and we're going to click on the key button and press the up arrow. I'm going to type in the word up in there just so we know exactly what it is. So that means when we press the up key the sensor will be actuated. We need to connect using these little yellow buttons the sensor to the controller and the controller to the actuator. Okay, when we press the up arrow we want it to move forward but not too fast. So I'm going to make its location go up by 0.1. I'm going to type that in on the keyboard. And that's the middle one, that's the y-axis. And I'm going to type in the move forward, just to remind myself what I'm actually doing. Okay, so now we've given our little uh, creature a, um, a way to move. Let's actually try it. Um, we'll go back to object mode. We're going to press the letter P for play. And now when we press the forward key we see our little guy moves. Oop, he's gone. He can't do anything else. Let's, oh, he's fallen off. Now what? We have to go back to editing mode and give our guy some more actions. So press the escape key on your keyboard 
and that returns us to the game. Let's add some more actions quickly. I'm going to add um, left, right, and backwards. So I'll add one, two, three. I'll make this window a little bigger so we can see it better. And another keyboard action. I'll make this the down arrow. I'll call it down. Minimize that. Another keyboard sensor. Make this the left arrow. I'll call it left. Minimize that. And finally, keyboard key right arrow. I'll call that right. Okay, I've got three new sensors. I need to add three new controllers and some new actuators. I'm going to make this one the move backwards. I'm going to go minus 0.1 when the down arrow is pressed. Let's connect that up. So keyboard moves down to controller, controller to move backwards. I'm going to add the left and right now. We're going to make it spin, so we'll give it some torque. Um, let's make this 2. Turn left. Now some of my descriptions might be wrong, but I can fix them up later. Connect that one up. And let's add the last one, which is turn right. I'm going to go minus 2. And we'll connect up the sensor, controller, and actuator for that as well. Okay, let's um, test our game. Press P on the keyboard again. Oh yes, turning right, turning left, forwards, and backwards. Yoo-hoo! Now we should note that, oh, he's a keen little... If we go off the edge of the maze, our actor will fall off. Ah, we don't want to do that. Let's go back to the game and change our view a little so it's a little more playable. Press escape. Let's zoom out. I'm going to twist around so we have a three-dimensional view. Let's put our little character at the start of the game. Just check that it's actually at the start by looking at the top view. Yep, that's looking pretty good. And positioning it. Okay, we're ready to play. Um, one more thing before we do that, let's change this from an orthographic view, which is all uh, 60 degree angles to a perspective view. Go over to the view item at the bottom and change the view to perspective. Now that looks a little more funky. Okay. Nice. Let's save our game. File, save, and we'll give it a play. Ah, yes. Ah! Falling off. We're going to have to add some more um, features to this game, but you can see how we've got the start of a playable game. And that ends our second part of the tutorial.